Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. It is Saturday on February 4th here in uh, in New York. It is still very cold, and I am still very cold. But uh, but yeah, I am going to do an, a bonus question. I'm just going to do a medium today just for a little bit of practice, a little bit of warming up uh, for the contest later. So let's do one that I haven't done before. And today is going to be a premium question, 2268 minimum number of key presses. Okay, let's see what this is what this is all about. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem and all this other good stuff. Uh, let's see. So you have a keypad of nine letters uh, or buttons. You have one to nine, okay, or 26, okay, blah, blah, blah. Each button matches at least at most. To type the first character, match the button, you press the button once, da, da, da. Okay, fine. Given a string S, return the minimum. Do we have to create our own number pad? Is that it? Oh, I see. So here, huh? So you do actually create your own number pad. It doesn't even have to be A, B, C, D, E. I, I was thinking I was misunderstanding what the problem is, but hmm. Oh, I see. Okay, so you, there's no movement thing. I think in my mind there's a movement thing. For example, from from like one to six, you have to move your hand or something. I don't know, whatever. But it seems like, uh, yeah. You could do five. Okay. So, I mean, I think in this case, in this case, it is just going to be greedy. Um, and and the, the reason why this is greedy works is just that you want to map um, greedy and then sorting, if you want to say that. You just want to map the, um, the characters to... Um, I mean, you don't even need to give the number, but you just, basically you have not nine numbers or nine characters that you could press once, nine characters that you press twice, and then nine characters that you could press three times. Uh, yeah, right. And then basically you just sort every, you know, the 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 frequency table based on that. So uh, so I will do that. So let's let's get started. I think we have enough to get started. Um, yeah, so S cal maybe is equal to, or let's just go freak for frequency table. Collections are counter of S, right? And then now we want to sort. Um, frequency dot keys. Uh, we, lambda of X, where X is the key, then we just frequency of X, and we want to. Um, no, let's just do it this way, but then we want to reverse this equal to true. I think reverse is true. I don't remember if it's reversed or reversed. But um, yeah, and then this will give us the, the the character thing. So alpha, maybe I want to call it that. Let's put an alpha real quick, just in case I have typos, because I've been very sloppy lately. Um, okay, yeah. Oh, whoops. That's what I mean, right? A lot of silliness. Okay, so that looks good. Uh, we can sort it by da, 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 da. and then now we just have to add, sum it up to get the frequency thing. So then now for I don't know x in alpha. Um, so basically, as we said, we have say um, current press is you know let's say we have one and then used is equal to zero or something like this. So then basically. What we're doing is tracking used to be nine numbers, and if it is, then we increment current by one, something like that, right? Um, yeah, and then in alpha, then we just, uh, yeah, and then we have a, just an answer thing, just kind of total, maybe you could even say, maybe that's a little bit better. And then now alpha sub, oh no, not alpha sub x, but uh, frequencies of x times current, right? So total is equal to add this, and then current increment by one. Oh, no, 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 sorry, whoops used increment by one and then if used is greater than or equal to nine though it can only really be equal to nine but um we we subtract it by nine and then we do current increment by one and then we return total in, in the end yeah it looks good let's give a yolo submit I, I was worried about like the zero case or something like this but it looks okay so yeah uh what is the complexity here right so yeah let's how did my time go? I wasn't looking, to be honest. Okay, looks okay. Uh, yeah, th so this is going to be linear plus alpha log alpha, depending on what you want to say it, because alpha is the size of the alphabet, which is 26. So 26 log 26 is, you know, really straightforward. This is obviously linear because 
Um, you have to look at each character once to kind of put in a frequency table. And then this is only O of 26, right? And this is all of, everything else here is O of 1. So this is O of alpha as well. So this is just going to be um, O of n plus alpha log alpha for time. And then for space, this is O of alpha on, for the collection things. Um, yeah, I don't think I use it in any other space other than, you know, constantly things. Um, I was also worried about a little bit about off by ones, but it seems okay. Yeah, um, that's pretty much all I have for today. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you had this problem and struggled and or, or just found it easy as well. Uh, but yeah, stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.